so we have discussed about two and three variable k maps now we'll discuss about the four variable k map okay so here the four variable k map it consists of boolean expression consisting of four variables let's say a b c and t so here as per the rule of k map the number of cells that can be accommodated is 2 to the power 4 which is equal to 16 why because using these four variables complemented or uncomplemented we can form 16 boolean terms maximum number of terms that can be formed is 16 let's say we start serially from 0 it will be 0 0 0 0 it will be a bar b bar c bar t bar similarly 1 will be 0 0 0 1 be a bar b bar c bar t similarly 2 will be 0 0 1 0 it will be a bar b bar c d bar and likewise it will continue like uh, 3 will be 0 0 1 1 it will be a bar b bar c d and likewise it will go from 0 to 15 0 to 15 so it will be 1 1 1 1 okay and be a b c d so 16 number of boolean terms can be formed so in order to accommodate these 16 boolean terms we have to have 16 number of cells so for that the k map it will look something like this okay like this so here it consists of four rows four columns intersecting each other to form 16 cells and each side will contain or represent the horizontal and vertical sides they will consist of two variables let's say a b on one side c d on the other and the binary representation or the boolean values corresponding to each horizontal and vertical side it will be like this 0 0 0 1 again remember it's not 1 0 it will be 1 1 1 0 okay and here also in this side it will be 0 0 0 1 1 1 1 0 always remember this this part okay never do one zero and one one okay zero 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 one 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 zero so this will represent a bar b bar this will be a bar b this will be a b and this will be a b bar again the same reason the complemented variables they stand for zero the uncomplemented variables they stand for one 
okay again this side also the same c bar d bar c bar d c d c d bar and each of these cells they represent a particular boolean term for example this cell here it is 0 0 0 0 it is a bar b bar c bar d bar okay this cell here it stands for 1 0 0 0 or a b bar c bar d bar similarly this cell here it stands for 1 1 1 0 1 1 1 0 okay 1 1 1 0 this is a b c d bar so again i repeat this is all related to sop okay not pos pos there is a different rule related to it same principle but different we'll discuss it in a separate video now every discussion will be related to sop first let us cover cover sop then we'll go to pos okay so this cell is 1 1 1 0 so let us take another cell let's say this one this stands for 0 1 1 0 0 1 the horizontal component vertical component is 1 0 so this is a bar b c d bar similarly this cell it is 1 1 Zero zero, so this is A B C bar D bar. This cell, this stands for zero one one one. This stands for A bar B C D. This cell stands for zero one zero one. So this is. A bar B C bar D. So like this, each and every cell here it stands for a particular Boolean term having a particular decimal or binary value. Okay, represented in terms of the Boolean variables. So each of this stands for a particular Boolean term like this, 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 like this. so total number of boolean terms the maximum number of boolean terms which are which can be formed using four variables are 16 that's why 16 number of cells each side horizontal and vertical component they have two variables okay the horizontal component vertical component an important thing always you know mark the notations like this 0 0 0 1 1 1 One zero. Whenever there are two variables involved, always use this notation in horizontal and vertical side. Zero 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 one 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 zero. Never do zero 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 one one zero one one. No, it will be wrong. So this is the four variable key map, accommodating sixteen cells to cover maximum Boolean terms that can be formed using these. four variables so this is the four variable k map so we have discussed about the two variable three variable and four variable k map so mainly uh, in exams you will have questions related to these three k maps 2 3 and 4 mainly it will come from three variable k map four variable k map there are also higher possibilities five variable six variable like that but uh, they uh, they are not generally asked in the exams because they are very lengthy very time consuming so mostly we will have questions from three variable and four variable k maps so we will be stressing upon those two concepts more so we have discussed about the uh, two variable three variable and four variable k map you know the design the construction 
and what each uh, k map the cells uh, they represent in terms of the boolean terms and the boolean values okay okay so we discussed about the four variable, variable k map how to draw it so you can also change the order okay of the horizontal and vertical components previously we did ab was on this side cd was on that side you can also do the opposite ab on this side cd on this side but the boolean notations they will remain the same there will also be 0 0 0 1 1 1 1 1 0 0 0 1 1 1 0 so here it will be c bar d bar c bar d c d c d bar here it will be a bar b bar a bar b a b a b bar and each of these cells will be the combination of the horizontal and the vertical components for example this cell will be 1 0 0 0 not 0 0 1 0 because a b the order is like this a b c and d changing the order will not change this so re remain careful it is 1 0 then 0 0 a b bar c bar d bar this is what it means similarly this cell that is a b bar c bar d 1 0 0 1 similarly let's say this cell it is a bar b c d okay d is the lsb a is the msp so that is very important so while changing the order of uh, the horizontal and vertical components in the k map you have to be careful about what is the msb and lsb given in the boolean expression so depending on that you have to form the boolean terms so here it is a bar b c d so it is 0 1 1 1 this one is a bar b c d bar which is 0 1 1 0 so like that so you can change the order like we did in the three variable k map also but while changing the order of the horizontal and vertical components you have to be careful about the msp and lsp bits and form the boolean terms according to this because don't think that when we change the order it will become you know as per this 0 0 0 this is not okay uh, here it is the same 0 0 0 0 no matter in which side you take here this is not 0 0 0 1 it is wrong it is not that it is first this this side comes 0 1 because a is the msb d is the lsb then 0 0 like that okay so just i wanted to share this with you that while changing the order of the boolean variables you have to be careful about the msp and lsp okay